We threw a rave 500 foot in the air with Badger and Fish 56 Octagon. The idea came about ages ago when we were driving through Brighton after our last pop-up and couldn't work out what the fuck the i 360 even was. Once we realized you could go inside it, we knew we had to do a party in there. We got into the planning stages and quickly found the major roadblock. The i360 is really expensive to hire. Luckily, Laura from the i360 liked what we were doing and managed to help us out and secure a collab. Boys are very nice. We knew if we were going to all this effort, we had to get the act right, and there was only one man for the job. And it's Badger. Luckily, we built the pop-ups alongside Badger since the very start when we were doing them in barber shops and bakeries, and especially since he's from Brighton, him and his team were all over it. There was just one more eight-sided piece missing from the puzzle, and that was Fish 56 Octagon. Him and his team loved the idea, so we managed to blag the i360 for one more flight. Then you needed every electrical item pat tested. But any item that wasn't tested, you had to pay £50 per item for somebody to come and do it on the day. Luckily, there was one man who could save the day, b Cell. Believe it or not, this dozy is actually a qualified Sparky. We spent about six hours pat testing and itemizing everything. Next morning rolled around, all the team drove down from Cardiff, quick pit stop to grab me, and we headed down to Brighton, walked through the secret underground tunnel to come out right next to the i360, which was a blessing in disguise because it was all already people out looking for the venue this early on. Half of us headed to the pub for the meetup and the other half of us headed up the i360 to set up the entire thing in one 45 minute flight. The second meetup text went out and shit got crazy. People were running for their lives, there was tears, there were a lot of bribes offered. Unfortunately, we had a few unexpected additions which meant that not everybody could even get on the i360. So half our team and Badger's management team couldn't actually come on the pod for the event. And instead they watched the live stream from a pizzeria across the road. Badger set went off, sunset vibes immaculate. And after a couple of flights, we managed to squeeze the rest of our team to enjoy the event that we'd all worked so hard to create. Everything went down without a hitch. The party was awesome. Everybody had a wicked time. The venue was happy and the content looked bang on. Unfortunately for us, there's no after party because we have to pack down, get to bed, and then head to Spoons the next morning for a big day of editing. That's the unfortunate life we lead. We love it. And that's how 